Greetings and welcome to Cave Blazers. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I'm really excited to present this um, this very unique game to you guys. Um, if you're familiar with uh, Risk of Rain, you will feel right at home in this uh, particular game. This is a roguelike that's a platformer as well, but it has a lot of different systems going on there. And um, while I am definitely not going to be the best player at this game, I am enjoying playing it and I hope you will enjoy the video. So let's go ahead and play and I'll introduce you to what's going on here. Right, so the first thing we have is a very crotchety old man who will kind of yell at you every now and again, <laughs> get off my platform. He does not think we're worthy to be here. Right. Um, and <laughs> the next thing that we can look at here is the outfitter. And basically this area is just about customizing your character. Um, and then you can, you can cho choose different kinds of hats and things. A lot of these things are locked and they are unlocked as you sort of progress through the game. As you can see, I've unlocked a few of them. Um, and, um, as I've played through a little bit. I haven't played very much, maybe like an hour or so, uh, so you can see how far I've progressed, which is not very far. Um, you, there's also kinds of beards, there's there's hair tint, upper body things, like I, I'm wearing a backpack, but you could wear a white coat, red gray top. Some of these, like these solid color tops, they come with um, just when you first start out so you can customize your character a little bit. Uh, next thing, and here's where the risk of raininess thing comes in. We have perks. Um, like risk of rain, you can collect a fair number of things. The first one you start off with is adventurer. You can start with an apple and two bombs, or you can start out having the archer perk. And this is kind of like having um, the professions in risk of rain where each um, character gets certain perks uh, and such like that. But we're going to be an adventurer here because I don't want to re reduce my melee damage. Um, but again, these things are unlocked. I don't know if they're unlocked with time. I think they're unlocked with time and also possibly completing challenges. Um, there is this uh, pumice crystal over here. There's a very interesting thing in this game where other adventurers can help you. They're basically NPCs that'll kill monsters around you. And if you activate this thing and push it downward, they cannot come into the dungeon. I mean, ones that are there are already there, but there's no none can follow you. But I'm okay with them following me. That's all right. And then there's the daily challenge run through this door, or you can go through this main door. Uh, to to get to the caves, which is level one here. We are equipped always with, we have a bow and we have a, uh, a sword. So we're gonna try to be careful. Whoa, whoa, okay. And by the way, this is, uh, this is quite a difficult game. All right, gold wand, right. Um, the only thing with the, uh, <laughs> the bow is that you can only shoot in sort of cardinal directions here, uh, diagonal, like 45 degree angles or straight sideways or up and down. You can shoot through platform. Oh boy. Oh, okay. That was not great. 80. I got hit for 80. Really? You can walk through spikes, but it's not recommended that you try to walk over them. Oh, that was so bad. And you have to be careful on the edge of the platform. You can shoot diagonally, but it is tough. Right, I don't know if we can actually get up here. Uh, probably not. I'm thinking that's probably not a no-go. Okay, so there's one of the adventures in the upper right. He's slaying a bunch of monsters right now. Um, so we're going to just let him do his thing. Now on the right, you can see that thing shining up there is a blessing. Oh dear. Okay, I have died. <laughs> Let's start over. Getting hit for 80 on spikes was not the best start for this <laughs> admittedly okay let's try this again right um and there are pots to destroy of course um which is nice okay okay let's get this uh nice little bat and you can barely see them but there are little gems around and these are like money that you can collect so it's always good to collect stuff. There are little shrines that you can go to, which give you items or healing or other things. Um, okay, we cannot get up there at the moment. You can jump on the sides of the uh, the walls, but you can't um, like double jump unless you get a perk for it. I think it's a blessing that gives you that. Whoa, okay, that was not ideal. Right. 
See, I can manage to kill myself even without monsters. That takes talent. Woo. Uh, there is no roll or dodge in this. Basically, though, you can run through enemies. Uh, okay, this is a bad dude. No, no. Oh, boy. Wow. Okay, so that's... Those little blue guys are explodey guys, which I'm not that fond of. Um, but anyway... Oh, okay, there we go. Got that guy. Uh, right. Let's keep on going. But yeah, there's no touch damage in the game. The enemy actually has to um, hit you with its uh, attack. Okay, there you saw his attack there. But I can, if I sneak up on him and run and rush him, um, I can I can hit him and then run across. I have to say, my, my game got a lot better once I realized that you could do that. Um, you can also sort of pre-attack with... Um, with the arrow, bow and arrow, uh, so that you have a better time at doing things. Now, I'm relatively safe up here, but whether any of the enemies will get in my line of fire, yeah, I don't think so. All right, so I'm just going to go down here and... Okay, this is not a fun time. Whoa, okay, I got hit there. Okay. I can walk slowly backward as I'm shooting my bow and arrow. Right. Okay, so we're doing all right. We have not died yet. <laughs> oh, this is a big chest. Those are nice. They continually emit uh, gold until they're... Oopsies. Okay, there we go. Oi! Uh, shooting and jumping is a very tricky thing because on the controller, which I'm using right now, uh, shooting is accomplished with the right stick and jumping with... Um, with uh, A is the default binding. All right, let's get rid of these guys. Hi. All right, there we go. Okay, there's a potion. Um, potions in this game are very interesting, I have to say. Okay, there. Oh, that's nice. Look at this. Is that is that any? No, that's. Oh my god. All right, let's get all the goodies here. All the monies. That chest gives a lot of money. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that was there. Sometimes I kind of miss the platforms, thinking that they're like part of the background, but they're not. They're they're definitely there. Um, there's a crate here. Oh, nice. We got a crown ring. Let's go ahead and grab that. You can equip items in your inventory. So a solid gold ring that causes your heavy attacks to stun targets. Now the heavy attack is basically when you do a combo that has uh, it's like one two three kind of combo. A hallowed bow. What is this? Okay, fires lightning fast holy arrows. Yes, please. My current only did four to six. This does six to eight damage. Fantastic. Yes, please. Anyway, you'll find various items through the dungeons sometimes. Enemies also drop items. I really don't want to die there. What do we got? Gauntlet. Wow. A big hulking gauntlet impu imbued with orcish magic creates a large spectral fish. Fist which hits items, enemies in front of you. I want that. So my understanding of the way magic items work is they sort of have to charge up before you use them. Oopsies. There we go. Um, and once they're charged, as you can see, it's, there's like a little progress bar on there. Um, once they're charged, you can use them. And I don't remember the key for using them. I have not gotten very far in this game. This is cool. I like this bow and arrow. Every time I've played, I've come across different items. There are a ton of items in this game. And I really, really am enjoying just kind of discovering it and all this kind of thing. Um, oh, there's one of those blue things again. Ugh. I can maybe get these guys. They can climb the walls just as I can. But maybe... There we go. Let's get this crate. Yellow potion. Okay, the potions are interesting. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean. Yellow potion. A yellow potion. They do not tell you what they are ahead of time. <gasps> oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, it got me. <laughs> Those exploding things are awful. They have me crazy. Um, but yeah, there are ways to avoid them, I'm quite sure. Oopsies. There we go. Nice. I really want this blessing over here. Oh my gosh, and we don't have... Well, we might. We have bombs. We start out with two bombs. Alright, let's get this crimson blade. Okay, there is the um, the magic item is ready. Let me look and see. Settings for my gamepad. 
Magic item is LB. Okay, that's just fine. We'll be able to use that thing once we have an idea of what to do with it. Right, so bombs are throwable. I think we can just walk here. Remember I said you can walk through spikes. Uh, there we go. We can just place it there and maybe, yeah, it didn't work. It absolutely didn't work. Okay, we'll have to go to the next floor so see if we can find a blessing. But I'm pretty happy with where we are now. Um, your, your goal on each floor, basically, is to find these doors and then go through them so you can get further in the dungeon and hopefully make it to the boss and then through more floors and make it through more bosses and that kind of thing. Kind of has... Oh, boy. Okay, now these... Every floor has different enemies and these shoot arrows at me. Oh, my God. Wow. I died. <laughs> <laughs> this game is not for the faint of heart. Okay, so here's my progress to the next level of um, of stuff. And I think it, it goes off of your gold that you use. I may be mistaken in that, but it seems like the more gold you get, the better off your progress is to the next unlockable thing, um, which is kind of cool. It's a shame that we lost that nice bow, though. Oh, it's okay, though. It's okay, because we're going to find new stuff in every playthrough. I really wish we could get to a blessing soon-ish um, because I'd love to show that off. Blessings, oh, ardent bow, what is this? Oh, speed slow, plus three range knockback and plus three magic damage, yeah, let's see. It's fast enough for me, I'll tell you what, it's all good. All right, let's see if we can get up here, there we are. All right, here we go, pick up the gold. There are also shrines that you can take advantage of. Oh boy. Oi, hey. I didn't know you could do that, dude. And as you can see, I am still learning the enemies. Oh, he killed himself. How nice. Wow, this is an awesome bow. I like it. Aha! Here we have some blessings here. We have Blessing of the Ballista. I know some of them, and I don't know others. Now, I know that Ricochet Blessing makes your arrows uh, ricochet off of rocks and things like that. Um, I don't know what the others. Archer's Blessing. Blessing. They all sound very much related to archery. Let's get the Archer's Blessing and figure out what this thing does, right? Increases range damage by two and knockback by one. That's a really good blessing. Here's another blessing of endurance. What does this do? Reduce all damage. Oh, yes. Perfect for KOS. We know this information. Um, if we look at our inventory, you can also go down and look at the blessings that you have. And it shows basically what's there. Um, and they also stack. And this is kind of like where... Um, your affinity with risk of rain might lead you to say, aha, this is very cool. Um, because it's like the items you pick up in risk of rain. Very, very much like the items. No. Oh God. These things, those dang bats are just deadly. I swear. I really hate them. Okay. Finally, I want to go back and get these chests. Um, can I do this? And also, if you grab the wall, they slow your, your descent as well. So, whoa, okay. Glad I got away from that in time. Okay, let's keep on going down this way. Uh, basically, the, the exit to these areas is always kind of in the lower area. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Hi. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Can't be having this. No. Always watch where they are facing and where you can attack them from. Okay. All right, there we go. We didn't even lose any health. It's great. Whoa. Oh, God. Bat. No. Oh. There we go. We got that guy. The bat is still alive, alas. Oh, gosh. I can't even get over here. Urgh. Right. Okay. But the whole, kind of the key to this game is getting different items and, um, and different things. Right, so let's pick up this crystal skull. I have no idea what it does. Let's go here and chew. Oh, excuse me. Right. Creates a barrier around you, which, yeah, please. Which blocks projectiles. I don't know if this one has to be charged or not. Okay, there's also a de demon rune. 
Let's find out what that does. Steals 10 of your health, but increases your maximum health by 20. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, in case we find a health shrine, then we can um, upgrade or uh, gain some HP from that. Hello, Araminta. Yes, my kid. Okay, sorry. We have to have a cat padding session. Our, my cat is just very interested in... Um, in, in sitting here right in front of me. Use my Araminta, you precious thing. Right, okay. Yep, she's she's usually good with a couple of pats um, just to tide her over until I finish my recording and whatnot. Oh, no, 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 no! God. Wow, that was, oh, that was bad. That was really, really interestingly bad. Uh, <laughs> very unexpected from, from my point of view here. Oh, dear God. Okay. Please don't do that, cat. Don't knock over my things. Oh, look at the damage this, this bow does. This is amazing. Okay, do I want to go up? Can I go up? I don't think I can actually get back up there, so I'm kind of out of luck there. Oh, no, 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 no. Can I kill this guy, please? Yeah, there he goes. Now, there's those green guys over there. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, fine. Right. There are blessings that give you, say, for example, um, health on every kill. Um, there are also others. There's there's a vampire character that you can uh, play that gives you... Oh my god, that was bad. Oh lord. Boy. Um, where he loses health every few seconds and you have to replenish it. So it's it, there's all kinds of different possibilities in this game that are really quite exciting, I have to say. Hey, whoopsies. Okay. Haha. <laughs> I will get you, goblin. Her. Not to mention the pixel graphics are just adorable, I think. It's so good. It's like very, very minimalistic. Okay, we've got range damage. Yes, please. Wow, magic damage. Not that we've, we're using any magic things yet. Um, but yeah, there's all kinds of different items, which is, which is really makes it a lot of fun to play. Okay, let's, can I get this thing? There we go. All right, we're gonna make it. And the first couple of times I played this, I was just, like I couldn't even get past the, uh, the first floor here. And I'm still not doing that well, but, um, at least I'm, I'm getting somewhere. But yeah, it's a lot about avoiding attack um, and being careful about where you go you know spamming attacks is not really the way to do things okay there's a box down here that I missed okay I realize we missed some things okay I think we're pretty much done with this area okay let's go next area Ooh. temple approach level two There's a blessing over there that I, hey, I would like. Wow. Jeez. Okay, that one's gonna go that way. That's fine. Whatever. Okay, that, oh, I got the blessing. Fire, okay, wow. We got a nice resistance thing going on there. This dude, that arrow means he's he can shoot arrows at me. So I'd really rather he not kill me that way. This is another guy that shoots arrows. You can jump over the arrows once you see the um, the arrow graphic. Okay, and I think my shots are basically arcing too much for this area. Oh, we have a friend. Oh boy. Wait, is that my friend? He's my friend. Okay, <laughs> he's not an enemy. Now this is probably a healing shrine, I think, for 243 gold. Now the the other adventurers won't take things unless I think they actually they can take items if they're laying around, um, and they'll equip them, which is kind of a cool thing because you might want an adventurer to um, have a piece of equipment if he's helping you fight a boss, for example. Um, so, but otherwise, they really don't, uh, they don't open chests and things like that, uh, or, or open pots. So you have those kind of things all to yourself. I don't really know why they're in this, uh, dungeon now that I think about it. Butcher's Sword. Damage resist. Wow. That is so tasty. Getting some nice items here. Whoopsies. 
Oh, and there's an altar. Okay, so these altars, they're fantastically interesting because you can combine stuff on top of them. Basically, you just um, go into your inventory and you choose two of the same items and they could get combined to make a... Um, to make a, a more powerful item. Lots of the weapons can be uh, used this way. Okay, we've got an arcane box, which is kind of fun. Come on! Oh, shoot. My stick was letting me down. There! Oh, God. Haha. <laughs> right. Okay, let's get out of this bat zone. There we go. Finally. Oh, yes. Preserved egg. I think that's food. Basically, yes. Plus five max health. I'll use it right now. Yeah, absolutely. Well, not only that, it just, it's really good. It's, oh no! Jeez. Right. Let's pick up this gold over here. We have 277 gold. I wonder if we should go up there and use that shrine. Um, some of the shrines give you items. Some of them give you health. So... I'm not sure if they are specifically one or the other. I really don't, I, you know, sometimes you run into them, sometimes you don't. Right, so here's a, um, a weapon that he missed. And we have blessings available. Who are you? Are you a friend? Don't oh, like you're hurting me. Blessing of thorns, immunity, and judgment. Um, immunity sounds awfully good. Oh, God, I, <laughs> I jumped. Okay, resistance to poison. Not really what I was looking for. Okay. That's okay, though. As you can see, we're getting a lot of money here. Oh, they, they're just killing stuff willy-nilly, and, and I'm getting money. But the adventurers can die. They do have a health pool. Pink potion. Great. Uh, what is this? Okay, there's a bat here as well. Okay, get that one. Good, good, good. Oh, okay. And this is a demon shrine. And they require health but they can often give you amazing blessings. So what we could do is go to the other shrine and see if it's a health shrine. And if we can, we will like, let's see, come on guys. Um, they can go through the portal with you. Let's see if we can get more health from that other shrine. I don't know if it's a health shrine or not, but we'll find out. Cause we now have 600 gold, which is a lot of gold. Oh, man. Really would like to get that guy dead. Good. Oh, no. Okay, I don't think I can get back up there. Let's try this. Oh, sadness, man. Oh, I can. There we go. <laughs> right. You just have to kind of try your best and grip on as well as you can. And there you can go. Right, let's go this way, make our way back up to that shrine. Whoopsies. Oh, no. Oh, not great. Not great at all. No. Bats, go away. Shoot. Now I'm even worse shape. That's okay, though. We're going to try this. All right, there is the shrine. Oh, finally. Max health. Okay, so this is a health shrine. It looked like an angel, so I'm quite happy with this. Uh, and I want to use that demon shrine. I'm really curious about this. Um, right, there we go. Let's move this away. Oh no. I already got a hit by this horrible guy. No. Right, I got a bomb, which is nice. Yeah, enemies can drop items. There are also um, blessings that will um, make enemies drop either more coins or more items, which is kind of nice too. Okay, let's do this. Thotic blessing, blood shrine, right. Uh, I don't know what the heck that means. Let's look. Defeating a boss will restore 30 health. Okay, that's not too bad. Not great, not what I wanted, but it's something. <laughs> Okay, all right, we are in our first boss room. We are gonna kill stuff, hopefully. <gasps> okay, I've never I've never actually done a boss, but I have watched a couple of other people play. Um, 
Whoa, okay, 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 okay. All right. I am glad that I have ah, this nice bow. Now I do have, I think, some food left of some kind. Oi. All right, now that those are out of the way, I can concentrate on killing this thing. Oh, oh dear. I seem to have been eaten. Oh no, it's killing me! Okay, let's eat, eat, eat. Go, go, go. No. Can I... Is there anything else? Sticky bomb? No. Okay, I'm gonna try my best here. Oi. Okay. That was decidedly unpro. But I don't claim to be a pro at this game. It's hard. It's really hard. Oh boy. No! No, he got me again! Oh no! <laughs> That's the end of me. <laughs> oh man. Oh, we got something though. We unlocked a dual wield perk. Oh, oh, that's cool. Right, so we got pretty far into progress of the next thing. Let's go check that out. Let's see what that is. That would be the perks are here. Oh, here it is. Equip one additional magic item, reduce movement speed by 10 and range speed by 10%. Ooh, I think that's something to try for the next time. All right. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, first episode of this series. I'll be playing this on and off, I think, because it's really enjoyable to me at the moment. Big challenge. Um, quite a difficult game. Um, but check it out. It is on Steam and... Um, Anyway, I will see you in the next episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.